So what are the weapons that we need for this war? We're going to remember one weapon today and one weapon tomorrow. The first weapon, tawakkul. To rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a huge weapon in this war. In this war against yourself, this war against the brainwash, this war against jihad al-nafs, that we must feel, the struggle we must feel to remove the hubb dunya from our hearts, tawakkul. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, jahal al-tawakkul, miftah al-iman. You know when we said Iman takes away doubt? So Iman brings you Yaqeen. But before that, Tawakkul opens it. Imam Sadiq he narrates, Al-Tawakkul ka'sul makhtumun bi khitam Allah Azza wa Jal. Fala yashrabu biha wa la yanfidu khitamuha illa al-mutawakkilun. He says that Tawakkul Ka'sun, a sacred glass. It's a drink. He compares it to a drink, Imam Sadiq He speaks metaphorically when it comes to spirituality. He's telling you that this is a spiritual drink. If you drink it, you completely transform. It's that type of elixir. But you will never understand unless you drink it. You will only understand it if you feel it. Only. It's like saying to the blind man, Asking him to tell you what red looks like. <laughs> He's never seen red. Well, explaining to him what red looks like, how would you explain it to him? To what call it something you must feel. Something where when you let go completely and you hand over your affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Audu Billahi and Shaitan al Rajim, Rabbul Mashraqi wal Maghribi, La ilaha illahu, but tit, but the khidhu wakila. But the khidhu wakila. Take him as a wakil, Lord of the East and the West. No Lord except him. Wakil, you could say it's like you know an attorney. When you hand over all your affairs to him, he takes care of everything for you. You do your part. You don't say, no, okay, I sit at home and Allahumma rizuqni and, and I'll get everything I need. You must do your part. The Prophet used to say, rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but also tie your camel. You don't leave the camel and say, Allah will tie it for me. You do your part, but you must know that everything that occurs is in the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La hawla wa la quwata illa billah. Knowing that, having that tawakkul is so powerful within itself. You know, we spoke about connecting to infinity. This is one of the ways to connect to infinity. When Nabi Musa alayhi salam was on that shore and Pharaoh was coming with his army and they were going to annihilate Musa and his people. And you would think anyone in that position would think it's over. But the tawakkul that he had, Kalla inna rabbi ma'i, stamps the stick on the floor, the seed split into two, tawakkul. It's a very powerful weapon to have in this world. And it's also very powerful for our own lives, and our own personal lives, and our journey. We have to know that God wants what's best for us more than we want what's best for us. We have to have that hope. There is an American philosopher from the 18th century, his name was Ralph Waldo Emerson. I recommend the brothers and sisters, if you haven't read up on him, or read his essays, very profound. And he has lots of really useful quotes, and they come in line here. He says, do the thing and you will have the power. He says that your actions speak so loudly, I don't hear what you say. When someone keeps speaking about doing something, it's different than them doing it. He's saying, your actions do the talking. I don't hear what you're saying. I'll listen to your actions. They speak so loudly, I don't hear what you say. And this is, this is the emerald. He says, do your work and I shall know you. Do your work and I shall know you. You look at what you have right now. Don't get overwhelmed and stressed by what must happen in the future. This job, this degree, marriage. Look at what you have right now and perfect what you have right now. If you think about it, the people who are successful nowadays, who became famous, they didn't plan this themselves. Look at YouTube. 15 years ago, there was no YouTube. Now, a lot of the successful people in the world are successful because of YouTube. But they didn't know that there was going to be a YouTube. All they did was perfect the skill that they had now, and they moved forward with it. If we are to have a vision of where we want to go, 
this job, this degree, we're coming forward to marry this spouse. We have a vision. We're going towards that vision. On the way there, doors are going to open. You don't get attached to the vision itself, to the result itself. You do your work. On the way, a door might open that you might like. You might go through that door, but you would never have attained the opportunity to go through that door if you didn't have the vision in the first place to go towards. Your vision is going to change year in, year out. The important thing is have the vision and go forward. You have to work with it. Don't, worry. don't think about the result. Just do your taklif at the time. The Lebanese resistance, when Israel first took over in Lebanon, a group of them, a small group of them, they went and visited Imam Khomeini, the ones who started the resistance. And they, they thought, that's it, that they're all going to attain shahada. They didn't really think they were going to change anything, but that this is their taklif. This is what they had to do. This was the right thing to do to fight against the injustice. So they went to Imam Khomeini and they're telling him. But he told them, I see victory written on your foreheads. But they weren't working for the result. They were working doing the taklif. The same way Imam Khomeini, in the beginning, in the early days, you wouldn't think that the Shah was going to be overthrown in Iran. There was no way. No one would have told you this would happen. He was doing his taklif. The men of God, the women of God, they do their taklif. They leave the result to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The same way. Now, in our personal lives. Now, we're not trying to make any revolution here. We're not trying to, to overthrow an empire. We're just trying to live our lives. In living our lives, we have to have this tawakkul, have that vision, and go towards that vision. There are going to be opportunities on the way. Do your work, and I shall know you. Sallallahu alayhi wa